Dad Hager had a dream and a passion. He was a farmer, but then he felt called by God to be a missionary. So he said, well, send me where no one else wants to go. And they sent him to North Dakota. <laughs> but he wasn't like a driven person, Grandpa Hager. And in the morning, he'd seem very, very basic and simple. His prayer was always, Lord, what would you have me do today? With the same passion, uh, Mark also loved older people and people who were in need. There was that same heartfelt desire to be of help to those people who really needed help. He seemed to everybody to be kind of laid back and easygoing, and, but he also, always in the back of his mind, there were things that were going to be important, big things that he did. He always dreamt big, and I think that was also part of what his grandpa's sight was. I mean, look at what happened because he started something, you know, that just spread around the whole United States. He had been elected president, and he heard that this building out here, he heard that that was going to be for sale, and phew, flew out here, and he got there in time to make a deal, not only for the building, but also for the 40 acres of land to the east, which is wow. I mean, look at it today, what it is. And he had that dream of what would happen there, what could happen there. I hope it keeps on growing and keeps going strong. And I think with Sanford's, you know, coming alongside and all the help that they've given, I see a wonderful future. I mean, we're always going to have to have care for people, especially elderly people. And, you know, it's just such a necessity and to have good care and people who are working here who love the residents.